by now you guys are probably convinced to either get the DJI Pocket 2 or not to get it at all. For all those who did get it, you guys probably noticed that this isn't the best camera for all kinds of filming, such as outdoor adventure, underwater or some bike spots. That's why today I'll be covering a list of 7 accessories and mounting options for your DJI Pocket 2 to increase the functionality as well as the protection for this little device. I'm not gonna lie, some of them might not look that cool and might actually look quite retarded. That's why we're gonna have an aesthetic score over here, over a maximum of 5 points on how they look. But do also know that some of these accessories are not only mainly for the DJI Pocket 2, they might be used for other mobile devices as well, maybe action cameras or maybe your mobile phones. It is the mount that is going to make the huge difference for either of all of these different accessories over here. You either need this quarter inch adapter over here, or this universal open mount adapter for DJI Pocket 1 or Pocket 2. I'll be ranking all of these items on my least favourite to my most favourite item on this list, so you guys probably have to stick to the end to find out which of these I recommend and which is my favourite one. Anyway, the links of the items that we're going to be mentioned is going to be in the description below and there'll be a video at probably the middle section of each of these parts to show you how well these guys are mounted. Number 1, the body mount. If you guys own a GoPro or other action cameras, you guys have probably one of these lying around. Now this body mount allows you to be able to film what you're doing while freeing your hands at the same time. The body mount is very secure as it's locked around your body, so the chances of this falling out is near zero. Now as you can see, I did not remove the dual all handle as it gives me a slightly longer reach along with this extension so that I'm able to see the screen. Now as for the aesthetic, it actually doesn't look that bad besides its long uh, protruding look of it. I will give it a 4.5. Next is something that is very close with the body mount, it's actually the head mount. If you find yourself hiking or going into caves, this is a very important accessory as you're able to mount your camera on top of your head, giving you a top-down look instead of center of your body. Now how does it look on me? Check this video out. As you probably can predict, the aesthetic rating is rather low for this one and a retarded 1 over 5. I literally look like a unicorn. Although I won't highly recommend it due to how it looks, it's still an option for you to consider. As for the body and head mount, you guys also want to consider putting a housing to be able to protect your camera as sometimes when you hit into things, it might actually damage the camera itself. But I'll be mentioning it later on in this video. Number 3, the bike mount. Now this bike mount is rather small and easy to mount up. Basically, you just have these two screws over here to be able to mount this up onto any handle. There are certainly other iterations of a bike mount for the DJI Pocket 2 or action cameras, but this one is definitely a more affordable option. Besides having the camera on top, I'll suggest you put a waterproof housing to further protect your camera. As most of the time when you're riding a bike or when you bump into things, the first one to take damage is actually your bike. As for the aesthetic score, I don't think it looks that bad, so I'll give it at least a 4.5. Next up, it's not something very surprising, it's actually a selfie stick. Now this is my uh, CK Mova selfie stick. There's no particular brand which I'll suggest for you to get, but I'll definitely recommend this Yulanzi's selfie stick. Not only is it not expensive at all, it looks actually quite sturdy compared with other brands that are out there which are far more expensive or doesn't look that good. I'm sure you guys probably know how it's going to be mounted up, but here's a video to just to show you guys how it looks. As you can see, it doesn't look that bad and it's definitely a huge improvement in terms of a tripod size compared with the one that you get with the creative combo. As for the aesthetic score, I'll give it a 5.5 as selfie sticks are seen everywhere, so it's literally nothing new or nothing of an eyesore. Next is the waterproof housing that I've been talking about. Now, here I have is the Osmos Pocket 1 water housing but it works for even Osmos Pocket 2. Now I know it looks like something else or a jellyfish, but I'm going to be showing you guys how you'll be able to mount your DJI Pocket 2 into this. Okay, first of all, you've got to take out the do-it-all handle. Now, what exactly is this black thing? It actually protects this uh, glass over here, so that once you're filming, you will not have fingerprints or other stains. So what you want to do is to take it out and you will have to look something like this. And there's actually these two parts to be able to waterproof it. Take out this uh, little control over here or anything so that it's actually skinny enough and fill it in. And gently insert this whole thing into the casing itself. 
and once you put it you basically screw it in this way and there you go you can easily remove the base of this and mount it onto any other accessory such as this head mount which you have just mentioned over here the possibility are literally endless and it definitely protects your camera from any bumps and any hits as you guys probably have seen it's actually easy to damage the screen over here or even the camera gimbal over here so it's better to be safe than sorry this brand that I've looked is actually the cheapest around, it costs about only 20 USD but there are certainly other options around. Do check the reviews before getting them as some of them might actually have water leaking through them. As for the aesthetic, it doesn't look that bad but it doesn't look that nice too. But I'll easily give it a 3 over 5 as it looks quite acceptable for the functionality that it provides. Now let's leave this here and let's go to our next item which is actually my third favourite which is actually this back clip. I like this backlit a lot as it's very small and convenient. Now how it looks onto the back, here's a short video. Now it looks quite nice right? But there's one downside to this. Most of the time if you're mounting on top of your back strap, you're either on the left or the right side. Which might give you a very decentered look. If you're able to have a strap over vertically over here, I'll definitely recommend as you can put it towards the centre of your body which makes it much better. As for the aesthetic, I think this definitely looks one of the nicest. So I'll give you a full 5 upon 5 points over here. So as my second favourite, not my third favourite, I really like this back clip a lot. And I'll definitely highly recommend this. Now let's move on to our number 1, which is this neck clip over here. Now why is it my number 1? First of all, it's really cheap, costing less than 10 USD. Secondly, it's so easy mounted, you just have to loop it around your neck just like that. Now how do we mount it on top of this? Check out this quick video over here. Now I know it doesn't look that great, so the aesthetic score I only give it a 2.5. But in terms of functionality, I will highly recommend this. In fact, I recently used this to cycle along this place called the Jurassic Mount. I will definitely highly recommend this over the bike mount as this is attached to your body and this is attached to the bike. But as I mentioned, once you are hitting a certain object, the damage you cause to your camera onto the bike itself will be much more than towards your body. There's no complicated screws or mounting accessories, just basically wearing it like a pendant. That's why this is my favourite accessory for the DJI Pocket 2. This is basically all the 7 options which I mentioned. If you guys like this video and find it helpful, do give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And leave me a comment down below which one is your favourite and which one you'll be likely most to use. Do hit the bell notification over here so you'll be updated on my next upload and do check out the playlist over here for more DJI Osmos Pocket 2 accessories and other tips. If not, I'll see you guys in the next video.